Hey everybody, welcome to the Wolf Pit. Hey, tonight we're gonna make some chicken egg foo young. Right here we have about two pounds of chopped up boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using light soy sauce. If you wanna use regular soy sauce, it's fine. About a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. About three tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine, Shaoxing cooking wine. Now we're going to add about two tablespoons of cornstarch. We're going to give this mix with our hands. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of oil to our wok here. We're going to get our chicken stir fried here in a couple small batches. All right, it's about three or four minutes. This chicken is done. Take this out, add the rest in, and get it so fried up. Alright, we have one cup of frozen peas and carrots, one cup of bean sprouts, one cup of chopped up mushrooms, one cup of yellow onion. So we're going to add probably about two cups of chicken to this, and we're going to add about a tablespoon of granulated garlic. About a tablespoon of black pepper. tablespoon of light soy sauce. Now we're going to add 16 large eggs. Alright, after we've added all our 16 eggs, we're going to go ahead and mix this up and we're going to use our hands for this. Alright, our egg, vegetable, and meat mixture is all done. So we're going to go ahead and begin to ladle this into a pan and make our egg foo young pancakes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to keep this a little on the lighter side. And we're going to use a nonstick skillet. You can use a wok if you like, or you can use a cast iron pan, what have you. But we're going to add about a teaspoon of oil to this nonstick pan. All right, you want to keep your heat on medium. If you go too high, your eggs are going to brown and burn. All right, so we're going to use one cup measurements at a time per pancake. And we're going to let these cook for about three minutes on each side. Alright, after three minutes we're going to go ahead and give this a flip. Let's go probably about two more minutes on this side. Probably don't need to hold full three minutes. <laughs> Alright, our pancake is done. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out. Now we're gonna continue this process until all of our egg foo young batter is done. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and make our gravy for our egg foo young. We have about four cups of chicken broth. We're gonna add two tablespoons of oyster sauce to that. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. We're going to bring this up to a boil and once it comes up to a boil we're going to add our cornstarch slurry to thicken it up and that's all there is to making a gravy. Alright, once the chicken broth, our oyster sauce and soy sauce come up to a boil, we're going to add a half a cup of cornstarch slurry to this. Once that comes back up to a boil, our gravy is done, and it's time to eat. So instantaneously that thickens up, they give a nice, rich, thick gravy for your egg for young. All right, our egg for young's done. Now I got two pancakes on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and ladle some of our gravy on top of that. One more scoop. All right, there you have it. Chicken egg for young. So let's get our chopsticks and rip into one of these and see how it turned out. Let's just break one of these apart in the middle. You guys can see how full of meat and vegetables this is. Look at that. Beautiful. There you go. 
chicken egg foo yum. Vegetables are perfect. They're they still got just a little bit of a crunch to them <clears throat> without having that bite from the raw onion. The onions had time to sweeten down just a little bit. The peas and carrots are tender. The onions tender. It's sweet. The gravy is great. The chicken is really good. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.